our, our places of work, we declare, even as we gather, we gather under your banner, the Lord of glory. We declare that you are our God. From the very beginning to the very end, you are God. And we pray that, Father, you will speak to us, not only in a language we may understand, but my Father, reaching to the depth of our hearts, O God, and changing the way we live and the way we do things for thy glory. Father, we bless your name. I pray for each and every person that gets to join in the service of our God. God. Let your name be upon them. And God continue to minister to them in different ways. And this be to the glory and the honor of your name. In Jesus Christ, we pray and we do believe. Amen. Amen. We can celebrate our God. God bless you so much. <laughs> Worship us. We thank God for this opportunity. And we may take our seat now. Mahali unaketi unaiza. Unaiza songa mbele. Uwape nafasi watu ambao wanafuata. Kuketi kule nyuma ni vizuri zaidi. Amen. So we thank God for the opportunity that we have. Uh, one is to hear the word of God, and the other one is to be ministered to by God. We give him the, the opportunity and the occasion that he may minister as he wills. Bwana isu asifiwe. Na leo nataka kuongea habari ya kumfuata mungu. Eh? Following God. And... Uh, I know for those who have been with us for a long time, I have talked about these words in many ways. And I want you to understand that because God is not a one-time uh, uh, thing that you receive, you know, if God were to be like a loaf of bread, which you can only take once, eh? if God was like a water, which you can go and uh, get from the river, and then you don't have to go back, I would say we don't need, we would not need to repeat these words. But now you must understand that God is not a commodity. Praise the name of the Lord. God is not a commodity. Kwa hivyo, yeye si kama kitu unaweza eh, quantify. Unaweza sema ya kwamba kimetosha. Unaweza sema ya kwamba hiyo nimepata, ah hiyo sasa nitakaa naye miaka mitatu. You need to remind yourself that I'm not walking eh, just we're just walking like anybody else. I'm walking after God. I am a believer. Mimi ni meamini, ni mempokea Yesu. Nataka kutembea maisha nikiwa na Kristo. Nataka kutembea maisha nikiongozwa na Kristo. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Kwa hivyo, ninatamani tusome maneno ambao yatatusaidia. And I'll go to a very popular chapter that I've read many times because as I read this chapter, it always inspires me as far as walking with God is concerned. And this is Genesis chapter number 12. And today, I want to give you details as God has given me understanding and I believe that uh, these details will help you in your walk with the God. The Bible says in verse number one, the Lord told Abraham, you are to leave your land, your relatives, and your father's house, and go to the land that I am going to show you. I will make a great nation of your descendants. I will bless you, and I will make your reputation great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, but I will curse the one who curses you. And through you, all the people of the earth will be blessed. So Abraham left there as the Lord had directed him and Lot accompanied him. Uh, Abraham was 75 years old when he left Haran. May God bless his word. Praise the name of the Lord. I've said, uh, I've read just a, a common scripture that I've taught many times when I talk about walking with God or walking after God, following God. Now, the Bible talks about God speaking to Abraham. And he told him, arise, go to a land that I'll show you. Praise the name of the Lord. Walking with God, number one, begins with a call. Begins with a call. Following God will begin with a call. Kuna mwito ambao utausikia. Buwana tukuze. It begins with that call. The call to salvation the call to serve the Lord, the call to do something for God, the call to minister in such, and such a way, that is where it all begins. Na kwa hivyo kama utamfuata mungu, ni razima ujue kusikia sauti inayo itana. Amen. Buwana sifiwe. And I want you to understand this also. That walking or following God has dimensions or levels. And therefore, whatever God calls you or calls you to today, 
may change tomorrow. God does not change, but circumstances, situations may change with the time. So mahali mungu wamekuita leo, sio necessarily ya kwamba utakaa pale siku zote. With the time, he will change. He will change the calling. He will call you to a higher thing. He will call you deeper than you have been before. Praise the name of the Lord. So, ni muhimu kwako kuisikiza ile sauti. Maana God will keep calling because levels are changing. You are supposed to get to a higher level. You are supposed to get into a deeper level. Are you getting it now? Because God is calling you to different levels, you need to constantly hear that voice. Uisikize sauti yake mchana na usiku. Sauti ambayo itakuelekeza katika hicho kingine unastahili kufikia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Now I want you to know how people lose God. We lose God because basically we don't follow that voice for long. We don't follow that voice always. We sometimes come to a place whereby we think we have arrived to our destination. We have gotten whatever we desired. We are in the place that we were coming to. Praise the name of the Lord. Uijifundishe habari ya sauti. Utaona umuhimu wa sauti tutakapoendelea. Ya kwamba kuna mambo ambao hata wakati Mungu amekuita bado kuna mambo Mungu huacha na hajakupa maelezo. Bwana asifiwe sana. So the calling of God eh, eh, I want to say this always gives you room for making a choice or a decision. Whenever God calls you, he will leave room for you to make choices, for you to make decisions. Atakuachia nafasi ujichagulie. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Now if you follow what God said to Abraham and you have, uh, leave your land Uh, and your father's house and go to the land that I'm going to show you. God did not force Abraham and there is no indication of the word must. It is just a choice. It is just instructions. Bwana tukuzwe. Na wale ambao unataka kuandamana na Mungu, ni lazima ujifundishe ya kwamba Mungu ni Mungu anipeae uhuru wa kuchagua. Bwana tukuzwe. Na kwa hivyo kama ushawahi omba maovu kama mengine tulikuwa tunaomba kitambo tulipookoka e, Mungu ukiona ni tabax ride uniue hiyo uh, ni maombi ambayo haiwezi pita hii siri haiwezi enda popote kwa sababu Mungu hakuna siku atakuua kwa sababu ya uchaguzi ambao unafanya yani uchaguzi ambao hujafanya Amen I don't know whether you are getting it he will never kill you for a decision you have not made And I want you to know this also because he will never decide for you. Praise the name of the Lord. God can speak to you. God can inspire. God can instruct you, but he will never decide for you. Na niwaambie hivi tulipopewa kitu inaitwa free will. Uweza wa kuchagua. Hata shetani anajua una uweza wa kuchagua. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Una uwezo wa kuchagua. Maisha inaweza kuwa magumu. Shetani hawezi kukunywesha dawa ukiwa umerara. Ate ukufe kwa sababu maisha ni magumu. Kunywa dawa ni uchaguzi wa mtu. Na usidanganywe ukatuambia ati kwamba sijui mtu unajua akili alikuwa anga na depression. Depression is a choice. Are you hearing me? Depression is a is a choice. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says cast all your burdens unto me says the Lord. Leteni mizigo yenu kwangu. Akasema ya kwamba mizigo mizito niachieni nitawasaidia ichukueni nira iliyo laini. Hasemi ya kwamba nitaiondoa by force hiyo nira nitavunja. Hapana, anasema weka mizigo chini ili uchukue nira nyingine tofauti. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Because the devil can preach to you the The, the Bible in the opposite way kama Mungu ni Mungu kwa nini hii mizigo yote unabeba wewe umekubali kuweka chini na kuweka mizigo chini si lazima kuwe hakuna shida kwa nyumba ili uwe mtu ambaye ana amani si lazima uwe na pesa ili uwe unacheka si lazima uwe na nguo nzuri ili uwe unaimba wimbo wa sifa ah uh-uh. 
ni uchaguzi utafanya maisha ni mabaya lakini god remains god in my life praise the name of the lord and the life of faith i want to say this there is nothing that you will not learn in this world nothing is automatic you learn you do what you learn and therefore learning to believe god is a choice learning to trust god that things are not working this week but god you are still god and you know what is going on i don't have the job of my choice i don't have what pays well but i know that god one way or the other you are still in charge and you are still making changes somewhere praise the name of the lord i don't walk by sight i walk by faith glory be to god na wapendwa niwaambie eh, nimesema hivi kwa sababu shetani angekuwa na uweza wa kutuua angetua usiku atugeamuka leo hana uweza hawezi kukuua hawezi kukunywesha dawa usiku ukakufa hapana dawa kunywa ni uchaguzi unachagua unasema nitanunua nitaenda nitafute niliona mahali dawa uende ukunywe whatever you take it is a choice god will always give you room to make your choices and decisions never forget that even as you desire to walk with god even as you desire to follow god you must always remember that i have the choice to make as far as my relationship with the him is concerned uhusiano wangu na mungu unakaa namna gani mahusiano yangu na mungu yanakaa vipi uchaguzi ni wangu jina la bwana libarikiwe hmm? anasema eh, leave your father's house eh, your relatives your land anasema hakumchukua na nimewafundisha mara nyingi na kuambia i do believe that god is powerful enough he would have taken abraham with all his property and even he didn't need to carry his properties he just needed to carry abraham and his wife sarah and go to him, get him to canaan and give him whatever he needed but god told abraham rise personally rise up go to the land that i'll show you bwana yesu asifiwe eh leo sitaki kwenda hii jia sana lakini niseme hivi kama utamfuata Mungu kuna vitu vya kuacha. Kama utamfuata uta, uta Mungu kuna mambo utabidi uache. Bwana asifiwe sana. I want you to note the following. If you want to follow God, you must be willing to leave the familiar things. You must be in a position to leave what is familiar. And I want to say this as human beings we are always comfortable in the familiar territories. Mwanadamu anapenda sana mahali anajua. Ushawaienda ibada kanisa ingine mpaka unakuwa uncomfortable. Ni kanisa umeingia na umekuja ibada lakini unajisikia uncomfortable. Maana kuna kitu kanakuambia hao watu hufanya namna gani? Hao watu na wakiwa wabaya na wakiwa na hapa mahali unajiuliza maswali ambao hata we ukiangalia unashindwa na ninajisumbua ya nini? Bwana asifiwe. Ni nini huwa shida? Mwanadamu anapenda mahali amezoea. Hata ukiangalia hata kwa kanisa, hata leo umeketi mahali umezoea. Angalia jirani, uone tu mahali ulimuona sade. No wale. Aja badilisha kiti, hata kama amecheja mezeji kidogo tu pengine akaenda bere kidogo nyuma, lakini ilia ile kuna kaelia. Kuna kitu inaitwa familiarity. And the way you see yourself seated here in the familiar corner that is how it happens spiritually men are not willing to leave the familiar they want to live with the familiar what i know is better than what i don't know what i know i am able to handle what i don't know i don't know how to handle but i want to say this are you willing to walk after god are you willing to pursue god you must be willing to leave the familiar bwana yesu asifiwe Utoke kwa ile maombi yako familia mahali unajiwanga vile unaanza saa zile familia saa ingine uamuke saa tatu ya usiku urare asu, mapema eh? uamuke saa tatu ufanye maombi mpaka saa sita upike sapa ukule alafu sasa urare <laughs> uachane na familiarity ili ukutane na daimono zingine za saa sita uachane kuzoea zile za saa tisa zilikujua paka zikaondoka elia hiyo sasa ndio wengine unaonanga hata unalala vizuri kwa sababu daimono zile zilikuwa zinakusumbua za saa tisa zilishahama. Sasa kulibaki zile za saa sita, za saa tatu, za ine, saa ine hapo. Ndio unaona zinakusumbua. Ndio unaona hausiku na usigizi, haurali. 
unataka kulala unaenda kwa kitanda saa tatu lakini usingizi haikuji maana kuna daimono haujadiru nazo ziko tu area umezoea zile familia saa tisa ikifika niamuke siku hizi nasikia breakthrough amuka saa zile hakuna breakthrough ungangane na daimono zile azipeana ngi breakthrough haraka bwana asifiwe if you want to follow after god you must leave the familiar grounds the familiar territory what you know and get into the unknown praise the name of the lord eh? so ni lazima uache familia or familiarity and i want to say this among the familiar things that you must set yourself free from is familiar people you know even in the church and that is why i advise once in a while wewe toka kanisa enda usome kanisa ingine enda usome mahali pengine ukutane na unfamiliar people unfamiliar messages unfamiliar preachings you know sometimes let me tell you two important things why you need unfamiliar territory and familiar people sometimes you live with the familiar until you get used to them in, in, in such a way that you don't value them anymore Bwana asifiwe. Eh? Kaa na watu ambao haujui ili uone value ya wale ambao uliacha. Hey, are you in the house? You will get to understand the value of some people. You always overlook, you always underestimate. You will never know until you get to unfamiliar people. Uhubiriwe mahubiri. Usikie we, we, we hii ndio kupewa mchanga na mchere na nini zimechanganywa uchanganue mbere Ushawahi wekewa chakula alafu mfano sana sana mchere maharagwe hizo vitu saa nyingine zilikuanga na mawe sana Siku hizi watu wa Tristi wamerevuka hawafanyi vile tulikuwa tunafanya Lakini ushawahi kula chakula ukakutana na jiwe Mtu usikia namna gani Eh hiyo chakula hata kama ulikuwa na njaa na ma appetite si appetite inapunguzwa by 50% i don't even believe it is 50 it should be 75% ukikula jiwe uume jiwe ah unasikia hii chakula hasa hii ndio inaitwa kuteswa akili yako inaondokea kile chakula moyo wako unaondokea kile chakula jina la bwana libarikiwe nasema hivi nawe ukikaa mahali pamoja kwa mfano watu wengine wanakupenda, wanakupembeleza, wengine ambao hukupigia kasimu, enda ukutane na watu ambao hata hawakuulizi ulikuwa wapi. Enda ukae na watu ndio utajua value ya wale umeacha. Namba tu, nitasema hivi, the, uh, the unfamiliar people help you to see things in a different perspective. Sometimes you have overrated yourself and overrated the people around you. Go to places upate watu ambao wako mbele wako juu uangalie ushindwe ni nini ulikuwa unasema uko mbele ni kitu gani ulikuwa unaona ya maana ni kitu gani ulikuwa unajisifia Bwana asifiwe Let me tell you this You know the way Kenya is we have grown we have developed and uh, in fact uh, like now whatever the roads that are being made they are superior in East Africa you don't find such things You can only get this in a uh, Uh, you need to go to at least Khartoum or Egypt from here you need to go to Cairo you need to go to Khartoum to see some of the infrastructure development about umeona so when guys like the 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 people from Uganda Tanzania Rwanda or Burundi come this way they always see Kenya as a paradise wait until you go beyond here wait until you fly out of the country and see infrastructure development that uh, mesmerize you. The, you you know the pride ambao unakuanga naye Kenya ina evaporate kwa sababu hicho ambacho unaona kama kitu kikubwa kumbe hakuna kuna kwingine kuna mambo makubwa bwana asifiwe eh ile maskai scrapers unaonanga Nairobi unaonanga ati manyumba marefu gorofa sijui anga aga sasa ile defu ni ya gorofa ngapi sijui kama tumefikisha 40 niliacha 32 time sawa was the tallest sometimes back but i understand there are taller buildings right now see dio but I, eh 36 you and your tallest my friend kuna nyumba if i am not wrong i do remember some details nilikuwa nasoma nyumba ya ezeta eh gorofa ngapi gorofa 100 na kitu 100 and something for us 
Sasa hii kitu unaona hapa enda mahali pengine utakuta ya kwamba whatever you call tall is a dwarf Praise the name of the Lord Whatever you have valued ukashikilia ukasema hii kitu ni kubwa ndio itafanya uone oi kile niko nacho hakuna tembea na ndio maana watu wengine nitasema hivi please hapana kaa kwako tu unakalia ile kasturi yako unageuka unasonga nyuma unasonga mbele juu ya vile kana kufinya unaenda upande upande unakaa hapo unakaa hapo enda uketi kwa wengine ukute kiti ya bao unaketi kinakuinua ukisonga mbele kinakusonga kinakusongesha kinakusaidia kusonga hivyo unataka ukirara kikisikia unarara kinakuambia rara vizuri uende uone maisha uone ya kwamba kasturu sio mwisho wa dunia amen Eh, bwana asifiwe. Yes. Utembee hata uende kanisa ingine, uone viti. Ujue sisi tunakalia nini hapa. Lakini wengine unakaa tu hivyo uko comfortable in the name of Jesus. Oh, I declare that bwana umeniinua. Enda uone watu wengine wameinuliwa. Ujue wewe haujaanza kuinuliwa. Kitu ilifanyika tu nika upepo kalikuvurutia kidogo. Kaka kubadilishia sales. Bwana asifiwe. Siku wanataka kunena katika hiyo jia sana. Lakini nasema hivi, move away from the familiar. And I'm saying familiar people are dangerous. People who pray your level are dangerous. Amen. Do you know sometimes why we have competitions is to make sure that people also live in a, a, a appreciate and see themselves either lesser or higher. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unaona anga hizi club za Kenya hizi zinachezanga mpira Tunasema hiyo club ni kubwa. Eh? Inawatwanga bao 4 sufuri, 4-0. Wapeane kwingine. Watarudi hapa na, na bao 20 na kitu. Zile wamefugwa. One game. Every minute, every three minutes bao. Sijui kama mshawaiona mali zote zingine kama 10-0 mpaka unashidwa. Hawa watu si wangetokea tu kwa uwaja waseme wa, wapewe zile watapewa. Unajua kugongwa ku, ku, ku 10-0. This is humiliation. It is beyond humiliation. 10-0. Paka hata kama ulikuwa una, una, uko kinyume na wao, unaanza kuwahurumia unasema si at least wafuge kamoja. Ile inaitangwa ya kufuta machozi. You, you understand? Lakini kuna watu ambao tuko comfortable maana tunacheza na watu wa ligi yetu. Watu wanatoshana na sisi. Unajipima nguvu na mtu ambaye anakaa tu kama sisi. Wapendwa, sometimes you need to rise and leave the familiar people. Uachane na huyu mtu anaomba maombi kama ile unaomba. Uende kwa mtu ambaye un, anaomba dunia inatingika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh? Uombe ama usikie story za watu ambao waliomba maombi. Maombi usome vitabu vya watu ambao waliomba. Kama mtu mmoja ambaye nilikuwa nasoma habari yake, yeye akikwambia nimeingia kuomba na akwambia nataka kuomba siku tatu, uwe na uhakika ni siku tatu zikiwa zinatoshana siku tatu those are 72 hours of prayer he does not come out he does not even go to the toilet if he decided to pray he is in for prayer unasoma watu wengine mpaka unashindwa wengine mkojo inatokanga wapi kwako because ukiomba mama kidogo ndio wewe okay pole bwana asifiwe unashindwa ni nini mbaya na hii tubo yangu kwani mimi niko na nini Umeomba kidogo tu kasimu unaangalia. Umeomba kidogo unataka kujua ni saa ngapi. Umeomba kidogo. He, habari zenu. Kaa na watu wa familia wakufundishe kwamba kile unafanya kinaweza kuwa nothing. Praise the name of the Lord. I thought I was a good pastor. People were always talking about me. People were telling about how powerful I was until the day came when i found out that i was a very poor pastor poor not physically but poor spiritually i realized i was not siku moja nilijiangalia hivi nikajiuliza mi kweli ni pastor wakati nilikutana na watu ambao wako mbele nikasoma habari za watu ambao wako na maisha makubwa watu ambao wamepatana na Mungu nikasikia this is a very familiar ground mimi nataka kutoka bwana atukuzwe lakini ukiketi tu na wale watu umezoea wanakupea the same story they tell you the same things over and over you get 
comfortable in the familiar zone. And in that familiar zone, in that familiar ground, you become accustomed to it. You love it. You like it. Praise the name of the Lord. Another thing that you must uh, separate yourself from or leave, it is familiar characteristics. Familiar behaviors. Tabia zinafanana tu, maisha ni yare yare, jia ni zire zire, jia ya kutenda mambo ni ire ire, eh, maongeo ni yare yare. Wapendwa, ukiona ruga yako haibadiriki, matendo yako haibadiriki. You have stayed too long in the place, you are very familiar. You have stayed in familiar grounds. That is why nothing is changing. When you get to unfamiliar territories, things do change. Praise the name of the Lord. Eh? Ushangudua kwamba kwako kwa nyumba unaweza tafuta kitu hata kukiwa na giza. Hey, am I the only one who is accustomed to my house? You can put on the light without even how how papasi unaendaka tu straight car. Yaani ushapima ishaingia kwa akili distance. Na unajua kuna vitu ambavyo ni za ajabu. You, you just do it. You have inculcated that thing in your mind until that culture image said that you don't need to count the steps at you taenda hatua gapi ufikie switch. Ah ah ukienda tu hivi. Unaiguza hata uguzi mara mbili ni chwa. Na ukiona unaiguza mara mbili uh, uko na shida. In your family house. Bwana asifiwe. Eh? Mahali unawekanga simu ukiiweka hapo hauhitaji ate kupapasa papasa unafanyanga tu hivi unaishika immediately hauna haja kuitafuta ate wacha ni jue mahali a a akili yako isha set ni vitu zinaingia ukiona tabia haibadiliki venye hatua zile huwa unapiga dizo tu unapiga kitu ile unafanya ndio bado unafanya wewe uko katika familia ground ushawa irara kwa wenyewe Arafu unajua mtu akilala unasahau kule ulilala particularly the first day unalala unasahau kule ulilala wewe ukiamuka unafikiri uko kwa kwako haya tuseme kwako kitanda umeweka to the left kwa hivyo unashukanga na sijui nani aliambia wa Afrika kitanda lazima iguze ukuta you know uh, this is a... <laughs> wale ambao kitanda yako haijaguza ukuta inua mkono watu wacha tuache tu kwa sababu <laughs> Hata mtu akiwa na nyumba kubwa bado kitanda lazima ifike nini kwa ukuta sijui ni, ni pepo gani ilituikia <laughs> anyway Mungu ni mwema tu Amen Uliza jirani kama yake iko kwa ukuta ama haijafika Ulikuta mama yako ameweka kwa ukuta kwa hivyo hata wewe unaweka wapi <laughs> Na kitu wa uelewi ilikuwa inawekwa kwa ukuta maana nyumba ni dogo sasa nyumba umebarikiwa. Wewe weka kitanda katikati. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe. Sasa tuache hiyo story. Lakini nilikuwa nasema hivi, ushawaienda kwa wenyewe ukalala, sasa ukaamuka, ukafikiri kushuka. Pengine kitanda yako iko upande wa left, kwa hivyo unashukia upande wa right. Alafu unaenda kushuka unakutana na ukuta ku. Kwa sababu familiarity. Bwana asifiwe sana. Sasa ndio unalia rais I am in an unfamiliar Territory. I cannot behave the same way. Praise the name of the Lord. I do believe hapa siwezi kosa watu ambao ushawahi shuka ukaenda ukakutana na ukuta ukirara kwa wenyewe. Ni murango unatafuta kwa sababu kwako murango huwa hivi nikituka nikitoka ninaendanga hivi. Sasa unaenda kwa wenyewe vile tu umezoea kwenda mpaka wakati unajaribu unakutana ni ni ukuta. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Wengine wale tunakaa singo. Sasa umerara kule kuna bedroom imefungwa. Wewe umezoea curtain. Unajaribu kufanya hivi. Hausiki curtain. Unashindwa kwani kuna shaitani ilichukua curtain usiku. Haukubuki kwamba ulihama. Things change when you are in a familiar territory things change. Now, that is why you need to get out of familiar things. Praise the name of the Lord. Familiar characteristics and behaviors. You must set yourself free from the same. Now, eh, twende bere kwa sababu ni muhimu uelewe when god calls you and you are supposed to follow him when he speaks to you he speaks of a place god is a god of the specifics i have talked about this thing many times god is a god of specifics hakuiti into an amorphous thing yani kile mnafanya hakina mwanzo hakina mwisho hakieleweki ah god is very clear 
And it is important for any person who wants to follow God to listen to God so that you know the, the, the exact things he wants you to do. The exact place he is calling you to. Usije ukaitwa, ukaenda kule haukuitwa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Unajua wa Israeli mpaka wa leo, wanasemanga ya kuamba, walipo ambiwa tan. Wanasemanga inaonekana wali tan vibaya. Hawa kutani kule walikuwa wameitiwa. Wali tan wakaeda jagwani hakuna mafuta. Lakini wale hapo tu Jordan, Saudi Arabia, mafuta iko wapi? So wanasemanga wali make the wrong turn. I don't believe so. It is just an assumption kwa wale ambao ni wasiku hizi, wale wasiku zile wanajua kile walifanya. Lakini neno ni hili. Saa zingine Mungu akuiti uende tu ukibahatisha. You are guessing you are the place where you are going. You are guessing the territory where you are going. No no no. God has specifics. Praise the name of the Lord. Na ni muhimu kwako ujiwekee akilini mwako ya kwamba Mungu kuna mahali ameniita, kuna kitu ameniitia. It has a particular place. Now, the other thing that I would like you to note is that God is a God of demands. Our God is a God of demands. Usisahau hili neno kwa sababu likitoka moyoni mwako, eh, wakati Mungu ataanza kuleta demand, hautakuwa ready for the demands. Mungu akikwambia Joe Unaona ana demand uache ana demand hakuambia Abraham maybe uh, ukiona vizuri unaweza acha a a aliambiwa wacha wacha watu wa kwenu wacha dugu zako wacha nyumba ya baba yako wacha taifa lako enda tu a new land praise the name of the lord so this is just a, a small thing that i want to say god is a god of demands and therefore if you want to follow god you must be ready for the demands you must be ready for the demands praise the name of the lord now let's move on because there are other things that I would like us to concentrate on. Uh, another thing that is notable and very important for you is that God calls you but does not give details. If you are following after God, he will not give you the details. The details about where you are going, he does not give the full details. In fact, let me put it clearly. God does not give you the full information or the complete details of where he wants you to be, of what he wants with you. Hakupea kila kitu, anakupea manusu. Na ni muhimu kwako, na sasa diyo nikasema mapema, utaerewa umuhimu wa sauti ya mungu. Concerning this God who calls you. Ile muito, umuhimu wake kitu cha kwanza ni kukupea habari ambazo unahitaji kwa sababu you don't have the details. Information umepewa, lakini umepewa as that which is important for you at that particular time. Ni nini inakustahiki? Ni nini ambacho inakutosha kwa sasa? Unapewa hiyo. Haupewi kila kitu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I know you must have heard these words. When God talked about Canaan, he never talked about the sons of Anak, the Anakims, the giants. He never talked about it. When God talked about uh, 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 the, uh, the new land, the land of Canaan, he never talked about the crossing of the Red Sea. He never said, and Pharaoh will follow you. He never said, and I, you, you know what? When you come to the Jordan, you will need to dip your feet there so that the Jordan can uh, uh, stop flowing so that you can... Con he never said the details. He never gave the details. He just said, go to Canaan. The in-between is unknown. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na hiyo ni kusema ya kwamba, kama utamfuata mungu, utabidi ujifudishe kuishi na mungu ambaye anapeana details as you walk. Details as you, as you walk. As you follow him, he will give you the details you require. He will give you what you need to hear today. But what concerns tomorrow, he will not say today. He will wait until that tomorrow. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Unataka kumfuata mungu, razima uwe tayari kuweka sikio rako likisikiza. Mambo yare ambao anakuambia leo, sio yare atakayo sema kesho. Sio yale atakayo kuambia wakati hali itakuwa hivi ama vile vingine. Atakupatia maneno leo na kesho watayasema 
mengine tofauti kwa sababu wanataka ushike mambo yanayokuhusu mengine ambao hauyajui mengine ambao hauyafahamu Bwana atukuzwe And I think one of the reasons why God does not give you the details is to not scare you Praise the name of the Lord Hey, ukijua ate utaenda utakapofika fote utagongwa na gari alafu ukifika hapo fifte kutakuwa na mchawi amehamia hapo wewe wewe we unaona ukigoja vitu zingine si ni fifte hivi ki approach 49 unahama unaenda Kisumu si ngojei muganga in the name of Jesus eh maana uliabiwa atakuja ukiwa fifte lakini Mungu akikuweka haujui anagoja mpaka ifike fifte Eh? Ebu ni ebu ni niambie kama ungejua utakufa lini ate ujue uko na date eh, unakaanga ukiangalia imebaki siku gapi unaenda ukikata siku moja moja wapendwa wengine saa hii ile mapi, mapito unapita hali gumu ambazo unaweza kuwa unapitia We unaona ukigojea hiyo miaka yote ate utafikisha 79 alafu ndio utakufa ukiwa hapo tarehe 2 Januari ya hiyo 2091 Dio utakufa. Sasa ufikirie tuko 20 22. Unaangalia hivi unaona hiyo ni miaka 69 imebaki. Miaka 69 na boy imebaki. Na ile mateso niko naye. Wewe unafikiri watu wengine wangevumilia? Wengine wangeanza Mungu kata hiyo miaka. Puguza. Niweke around that. Nitoke hii dunia hii vile naiona. Wengine wangejua ya kwamba watakaa miaka hiyo watafikisha 2092. Wewe unafikiri wangefanya nini? Wengine wange wangefanya vituko, wangeishi katika dhambi ikifika tu akiwa 2091 December. Anaokoka. Na anasema nibatizwe. Hata anasema hata nisipobatizwa, mwizi ambaye alikuwa kwa msalaba hakufanya nini? Hakubatizwa. Dio Mungu alificha details za maisha ili utebe bila kujua kama unaweza kufa leo ama ni kesho utebe bila kujua maisha itakupa itapanuka lini mipaka yako itabadilika lini haujui uishi kwa imani wacha kuishi kwa kutembea kwa kuona praise the name of the lord so god does not give the full details he gives details bit by bit kidogo kidogo anakuambia hiki leo anasema kingine kesho. E, ukiangalia katika jambo lingine ambalo katika details hakupeana details wakati wowote hakuna mtu alipea details. It is the details about the enemies you will face. He never spoke of the details about the challenges that would come. He never talked about it. Challenges za maisha. Detail about the enemies that you're going to fight. The occupiers of the land he never spoke about it. Aliwaambia tu twende. Aliambia Abraham twende. Hamwambii kuna wakanani katika nchi. Hamwambii utakaa katikati ya watu ambao watakuangalia vibaya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Watu hawa si walimwambia Abraham we ni mtu mkubwa. Eh? Hata Farao si alimwambia toka kwangu. Enda. Kwanza kabisa sikutaki hapa. We ni mtu wa, 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 wa makubwa. Wewe siwezi kaa na wewe. Lakini swali ni hili. Huyu mtu angejua ya kwamba nchi ile anaenda iko na wenyewe na haitamtoshea hivyo ati hata ingia tu immediately hata ingia na kuoccupy immediately wewe unaona kama angetoka kwanza angeambia Mungu ukiondoa wakanani ukiondoa hao watu maadui uniambie niende na let me tell you this also please in your life live the life of faith in a god The God who has given you the calling, the God who have called you into these things, amekuitia mambo haya na anayajua na anajua mahali anakupeleka. Wacha kufikiri na kufanya mahesabu mengi. Maana kuna mambo haitafanyika leo, kuna mambo haitatendeka sasa, kuna mambo hautajua vile atakaa, lakini Mungu anayajua. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Another detail that God omits is the warfare that you will fight the battles you will fight god does not give details about the battles utapigana vita miaka mingapi utapigana na nani katika maisha hata kupea hizo details kwa hivyo utajikuta mahali ambapo i don't know what i am fighting i don't know the people that i'm fight i don't know what i'll fight tomorrow praise the name of the lord you know and this is even true concerning the church 
you, you know, there are so many things we do here. There are so many battles that we face. Sometimes we have fought battles to Nashinda, to Nagudua, to Mefika Mahari. Saira unafikiri ni saya kulirax. Adui mwingine anainuka. Adui wa aina nyingine anainuka. Adui ambaye haukufikiria anainuka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo ni muhimu kwako uweke moyoni mwako ya kwamba kutakuweko na maadui na Mungu hata wasema. Mungu hata kuambia watakuwa adui aina gani, watakuwa wamekaa wapi? Lakini maadui wako. Praise the name of the Lord. They are enemies in your life. They will be enemies in the walk. They will be enemies who will stand against you. They will be enemies who will be opposing you. But you must always keep in mind, though the enemies are there, God is faithful and committed to his word. Can I say that again? God is faithful and committed to his word. Kama alikuambia toka tuende, kama alikuambia nifuate, nitakufanya taifa kubwa, nitakufanya mtu ambaye atakuwa na heshima, you can be sure, you can relax, you can hold on to that promise, for God is a faithful God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Usije ukachokea jiani. Usije ukafikiri kwamba Mungu hanisaidii, hanifikiri, kaa kuona kwamba mambo hayabadiliki. Yeye ni mwaminifu kwa neno lake. He is committed to his word. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now, uh, if you look at verse number 2, God gave the promise. Si ndio? Akapeana promise ya kwamba I'll bless you, I'll make your descendants great, a great nation, you know, your reputation will be great. Praise the name of the Lord. Alipeana the promises. Now, my question is, did it come to pass? Did Abraham become a mighty nation? Yes. In his days? No. In his days, he actually left only one son. If we can say Ishmael also, two sons only. Akawacha hao wana vijana wawiri. Okay, bibiria inaonyesha alipata bibi mwingine, alikuwa na hitwa Ketura, na kazaa watoto wengine, akawapea zawadi. Lakini wale tunajua vizuri ni wangapi? Ni wawiri. Lakini sasa tuachane na hiyo. Haita tusaidia. Lakini swali ni hili. Kutoka kwa yule mama Mungu alimwambia, "Huyu ndiye mtajenga taifa naye." Walizaliwa watoto wangapi? One. But God is a faithful God as far as his word and promise is concerned. Isaka akazaa wangapi? Wawili. Lakini mmoja akaondokea njia, mmoja akabaki. Angalia hiyo mahesabu. Mungu anaongeza one. Every generation, one. Lakini generation ya the third, the third generation, the fourth generation iliongezeka watu wangapi? Twelve. Watu kumi na wawili wakaongezeka. By the time tunafika the fifth generation, watu ni wangapi? Maandiko inasema nyumba ile ilikuwa na watu sabini na wangapi? Seventy-six. Praise the name of the Lord. So, we are talking about a God who can keep his word. Though he does not do it automatically, though he does not do it according to a schedule, but he is faithful and committed to his word. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Muache kufika mahali ambapo shetani anawavunja mioyo. Shetani anawatoa mahali ambapo mlikuwa mmesimama. Shetani anakuonyesha ni kama ulikosea, ni kama wewe hauna Mungu, ni kama Mungu si mwaminifu. God is a faithful God. Praise the name of the Lord. God may not talk about the battles you will fight, but if you keep on listening to him, he will also uh, take you to the places you need to be. Now, let's turn to the book of Genesis chapter number 22. Genesis 22. Hmm. And uh, we know the story also concerns Abraham. And the Bible says some time later, God tested Abraham. He called out to him, Abraham. Here I am, he answered. God said, please take your son, your unique son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the land of Moria after he offer, offer him as a burnt offering there on one of the mountains that I'll point out to you. Chukua Isaka, uende umtoe kama thabiu katika mulima, ambao ni mimi nitakuonyesha. Buwana Yesu asifiwe. You are still walking with God. You are still on the journey of walking with God. The journey of walking with God is also a journey that requires sacrifice. It requires sacrifice. And the sacrifices that God desires are his own choice. Hawezi chagulia mungu, thabi uida utampea. 
as far as we are talking about walking with him following him ni yeye atachagua ni dhabihu gani ambao ninataka demands zake ndizo ataweka ni yeye atachagua kile ambacho atatenda jina la bwana libarikiwe so wapendwa ni muhimu kwa kila mmoja wetu kuelewa ya kwamba kuhusu kutembea na Mungu you cannot just walk there is a way you must walk if you are following after God there is a way you gonna follow God blessed be the name of the Lord there is a way you gonna follow him you will not follow him the way you want you will not follow him like other people are saying you will follow him the way he wants for you to get to the destination that he wants blessed be the name of the Lord so Abraham maandiko inasema akamchukua Isaka akaenda ili atoe nini dhabihu kwa Mungu akaondoka akaenda akatoe dhabihu lakini saa zile ameondoka Mungu hakumwambia the exact mountain alimwambia nitakuonyesha ule mlima this is the god that we serve the god who does not tell you about the mountain and where the mountain is but he will tell you there is a mountain praise the name of the lord so brethren kuna kitu ambacho ningetaka kusema dakika moja you need two things the voice of god that gives you a revelation of what god wants with your life and where he is taking you you need the voice of god the voice that gives you a revelation wewe ni nani umeitwa pande gani unatakiwa kwenda mpaka wapi that revelation only god can give it to you praise the name of the lord you need to hear god in the morning you listen to him in the evening you listen to him praise the name of the lord when things are not very good you need to hear god when things are working you need to hear god for there is a mountain where he wants you to be kuna mlima anataka ufikie lakini ule mlima haufikiwi kawaida ni lazima ujue akueleze ya kwamba kuna mlima enda mpaka mlima fulani kuna ule mlima ambao nataka ufikie si milima yote kuna mlima wenyewe jina la bwana libarikiwe number two, you need to be of a discerning heart uwe na moyo unao uwe na discerning heart because without discernment you will never know you will know that mountain where he wants you to worship Bwana tukuzwe hautaujua mlima ambao angetaka ukamwabudu kwake. Hautaujua. So you decide because in not every mountain is a mountain where God wants to serve. Not every mountain is worthy his worship. Not every mountain is at the level that he wants. Praise the name of the Lord. Mama ndani kusema kwa sababu milima ile anataka si milima ile unataka ni lazima uwe na ability to discern ili utakapoiona milima ujue milima hiyo ukisoma mauko wa chini biblia inasema kwamba aliamka na wakaenda wakafika eneo fulani the bible says on the that day verse four, he looked ahead and saw the place from a distance he saw the if, if you if you know the land of uh, the land of Israel it's a mountainous land. There are very few places which are, except the Jordan, but that is the only place where there is a valley. And then the, what is called the Negev in the southern side. That's where you have plains. But majority of the land are mountains. Praise the name of the Lord. So, we can go away. We can see the Minima. See, you didn't say that there is a mountain around Jerusalem. Historians and theologians agree that uh, the mountain where God told Abraham to go and sacrifice him was around Jerusalem. All right? It is the same mountain where, uh, where what, does, what does the Bible say? Where uh, David sacrificed to the Lord, Mount Moriah. It is the same mountain where the temple is built. They are mountains. In fact, if you go to Jerusalem, uh, they are the, mount, the mountain. Uh, on this side, there are mountains to the north, mountains to the south. It is a, a place of mountains. Are we together? So, you cannot decide. You cannot decide. 
alikuwa anataka kutoleza Bwana sasa discernment is necessary be a person who seeks to discern utafute kule mambo yale ambayo unatakiwa ufanye unatakiwa uyafanye wapi hivi kitu Mungu anataka ufuate anataka ufuate kutoka wapi if you cannot discern you cannot get to the de- destination ambayo Mungu atakuweke Bwana Yesu asifiwe and Jesus said to his disciples Bwana Yesu follow me and i'll make you fish and all follow me the bible says in mark chapter 3 and verse number 13 to 15 he called those he wanted that they may follow him that he may send them to preach the gospel to have power to heal the sick but did jesus tell them that uh, to get na nini kuna siku boti itapigwa na upepo hasen to get na nini kuna wakati tutatakiwa kupigwa na mai watu wataka kupigwa na mai hasen hizo ndio Munaenda tu na yeye. Lakini as you fall, as you continue walking, you are still pressing on to the destination. Praise the name of the Lord. This is the same God that we stand upon today. The same God whom we believe. Na kwa hiyo wapendwa, ninataka uweke moyo wako ya kwamba Mungu huwezi kufuata kama hauna ability to discern. Udisan na mambo bila yeye. Udisan hali bila zina Udisani ya kwamba watu hawa ambao ninapitana na wao wengine watakuwa wanaenda kule mnaenda kuna watu watakuwa wanaenda the opposite direction kuna watu katika life utakutana nao hawana kile ulicho nacho hawana value ya kile uko nacho kuna watu ambao utakutana nao katika life na hawataki kile wewe unataka hawaoni kile unaona Bwana Yesu asifiwe Nasikia Abraham anaambia watu nyinyi kaeni hapa sisi na vijana twende tukaabudu tutafanya nini? Tutakukienda na watu watu ambao hawana kile unacho hawajasikia ile sauti wewe umesikia hawakuambiwa kile uliambiwa wewe unaona wakikubali mtije mtoto hawakakubali kwa hivyo kuna watu ambao you can only walk with them as far as is convenient as far as is convenient for you and also for them Praise the name of the Lord. Na niwaambie wapendo wa hata kwa kanisa wakati unataka. Hata katika imani na kufuata Mungu. Ni lazima ufike eneo ambapo utakufua. Hatuko kwa kiwango kimoja cha imani, hatuwezi na the same pace, hatuwezi the same uh, 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 place. Kila mtu anaenda kule anaenda, kila mtu ako na neema yake, kila mtu ako na shughuli yake. You must maintain your stand. Be yourself. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't tell people everybody that you feel about what you think and what you feel and what you want. Hmm. There are people you live the way they are wa kaji. Mambo yao wanataka kufanya wa yafanya hivyo. Vitu zile wanataka wa kai tu. That is the best that you can do with them. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So, nitasema hivi, Abraham ukimfuata, alitembea na yule mungu, akafika katika nchi ya Kanaani, akamtolea Mungu sakti za njia ya Mungu akifanya mambo yake alikuwa anataka anatakiwa kufanya si akikwamba maisha yalikuwa mazuri ile fa mtiangalia biblia bila inaongea mambo mengi akikwamba abraham amechipa misingi alafu wa kristo wamezibeka matoko wanazimwagia takataka ili zifika zisije zikatoka mali wamendwa it was a life of hostility enemies were raising their by but it kept on he remained in the land praise the name of the lord In fact, go and read your Bible and you will find out. Mungu alimwambia ya kwamba, eh, usifanye nini? Usi alimwambia Isaka, usitoke katika hili, usiende katika nchi yetu. Aya, Abraham wakati alikuwa anapatia Isaka huko katika Genesis 24. Alisema na mtaka, usipeleke huko. Yule msafiri atakuja wapi? Hapa. With the hostility he knew I am called into this land. I am listening to God. I am following after God. Ninafuata bila Mungu aliniambia. Brethren, this is the best that you can do in your life. Have your attention to the voice of God. Be a person full of discernment kama unataka kukaa na kutembea na Mungu. Unataka kumfuata? Sauti sikii. Number two, discern. Even when God is speaking, still discern. Utafute utakuwa ni nini ninapenda? ni kitu gani nastahili kufanya nimefika wapi 
Kwa maana wapendwa, nimesema safari ya kukaa Mungu na kufuata Mungu haiko katika desemba. Viwango vinaenda vikiinuka ndio maana unahitaji sauti. Mungu anaweza kukuambia toka hapa, enda pande fulani. Ukifuata mtu kama Yakobo, utakuta kuna wakati Mungu alimwambia toka mahali umekaa. Sasa enda mahali pa pale kama mababu yako alikuwa anakaa. Hapo jeda sema nitolee na juu kule. Kwa sababu Mungu ni Mungu wa viwango. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna wakati kile unafanya leo, Mungu atajimaa kibadilike. Anabii Isaia sema, you must leave your family. Hallelujah. Family ya people, family ya things. Ndio wakati mwingine unaona Mungu huleta majaribu, huleta mambo magumu, Mungu huleta baraka ili utoke katika the family ya Bwana. Bwana asifiwe. Unajua kuna watu unaona wanafuata Mungu mpaka siku ile shida itatokea, ndio utagundua hapo anafuata Mungu. It was a journey because of convenience. Kwa sababu mambo yalikuwa sawa, kwa sababu vitu vilikuwa vizuri, sasa ndio alikuwa anafuata Mungu. Lakini kuna wakati unafika mambo yanaharibika na Mungu ni moyo wako anataka kutesta. Aone kama unaweza kufuata ukiwa huko. I want to make two three statements as I finish. Number one, I want to say this. If you want to follow God, you must be a believer in God. A man or a woman of faith. Uwe mtu wa imani. Mtu wa mbae anasima wa imani. The reason is this. Even as God speaks, sometimes you will see nothing. Sometimes you hear nothing. I don't remember the name of the prophet, but one time God spoke to a prophet and said, tell the Israelites to make ditches in the land. For there will be water, though there will be no rain. Put a corner, march, but in a put a corner. Sasa, what then from who to a to a put a monachiba mitara, you want to eat it? Ah, monachiba put a corner, man. And the real thing, I'm going to leave you alone. You get one is squeezing in the room, or two are on it, whether in a semi. Awa ni kwa kwaweta ate inesema mbukua For the next two weeks hakuna mbukua hile Siyo kwa kwa wabia Mwacheni ujiba Unachipa tumisha Mitarabita mchipe kapisa mpaka mchipia mati Ili kuwe na mati Lakini mseno inachipa hapa kwa 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 na mati Lakini Aliesema tumitama kuchipa You can only follow him by faith Because he is God Praise the name of the Lord I've told you this one In the book of Hebrews Chapter number 11, verse number 6, the chapter of faith. The Bible says, whoever comes to God must believe that he is. He exists. Uwamini, anaye mfwata, anaye tembea kwa, minasima awe mtu mwenye imani. Siku fikiri anafikiri ya badu ya mtu. Na wapekwa, nimejaribu kuwareza hini neno mapekwa kido. Ya kwamba, concerning faith, you teach yourself to be a believer. Faith is a quiet. Faith is a quiet. Faith is deposited in us as a seed. You grow your faith. Continue. We put it in my life. If you think a mahali ya bako. Si tembea kwa sababu kanisani tuliyabiwa tuwedele. Nina tembea kwa sababu ni nayo imani katika mungu. Ni kuwa mini ni meami. Yo mana ni tembea. Ukiona ni meacha bitu wa bazo nina kuwa. Nili wambia nata tayo, umeata watu wale umeza kopa kwa hawa Ili kezu mbona jaa unakua mahali umeza kopa Sini mwambia, mwanadabu napenda nini? Familia ni Kwa hana siku sana Anapenda kuwa familia Mwanadabu napenda jeje zi, apenda bitu wa kwa hawa zi Anapenda bitu familia Kwa pekwa, kuhusu hii familia ni Ni muhimu uweke hini nene Kama ni tabeza kusoma, nazima niwe mtu wa imani because faith is capable of walking in a familiar territory. When you find yourself, you can only be comfortable in a in familiar place. You have refused to walk by faith. You hang around with the Lord. You hang around with what is, what is clear. You hang around what you are aware of. You have stopped living by faith. You are living in our end of life. Bwana Yesu wa tukuzi. Kama unataka kuwa kutu wa imani, razima ujitoe kwa familia presi, ujireta mahali pa, and familia presi. Sitepei kwa mzee ni leo. Sia 
kwamba kuna kitu Mungu amefanya ndio maana nimekubali hapana hata wakati hajafanya he is gone and uh, i want to say this. you don't just need to be a man of faith but to become a man of practical faith uwe mtu ambaye you practice your faith put your faith into action allow your faith to work put it to work test your faith ijaribu mwana jiweke mahali ambapo si tu kwamba nasema Mungu nimekuamini lakini ninafanya mambo to prove my faith james say talk about your faith but as for me i'll show you my faith by the things i do bwana yesu asifiwe by the way i want to say this you don't know your faith by what you speak you know your faith by the things you do you don't know your faith by what you say you know your faith by what you do unajua imani kwa matendo yako ulivyotenda na uwe mtu wa imani mtu ambaye ana hamu on faith look at that right si wameenda wanakosana na lot you remember in the scripture na si kosana kwa ubaya mali imezidi Uh, alimwambia roho afanye hivi hatuna haja ya kupigana sisi ni ndugu kule utaenda mimi nitaenda the other side roth is a man walking by sight and not by faith so i can teach kasema roho yani anataka kujika hivi alikuwa ananiambia nichague ni yeye aliitwa inji ni yake lakini ananiambia nifanye nini nichague nafikiri alikuwa ameona alikuwa ni mjika sana akasema wewe ni wewe wewe except in the valley of jordan mahali nyasi imemea kulea chakula ni kingi bwana asifiwe akachagua abraham alimwambia where are you go and go there but as for you are in the mountains ni nani aliyesafaya ni yule aliyenda kule kuna nyasi ama ni yule alikaa kwa milima aliyekaa kwa mawe alisafaya alienda kule hakuna mawe kule kuna nyasi aliingia katika mitemo aliingia katika mateso maisha yake aliangamia bwana yesu asifiwe so what are we talking about i am saying you cannot be a person who only talks about the faith you must be a person who practices faith put your faith to work ili wewe mtoe hautembei kwa bila kuliambiwa unatembea kwa bila umeamini bwana yesu asifiwe i want to say this at times god will not work immediately At the times God will not work with the timelines that you give with the timelines that you think are important God will work in his own way in his own time in his own ideas atafanya kazi vipi kwa hivyo ni muhimu ujifundishe hivi jambo kama Mungu atafanya kazi vipi anataka atafanya saa hii anataka basi ni kusema mimi i can only live by faith sijui atafanya hii kitu siku gani sielewi ni siku gani ataondoa hii mtego sijui ni siku gani atanifikisha Sijui aliposema nitakuwa taifa atanifanya taifa na miaka mingapi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Abraham aliyebwa na you are your children will go into slavery. And they will be there for how many years? For four generations. Four generations according to the Bible is around 100 years according to that time. In fact I think it was a 75 years or so but uh, walikaka walikaka so miaka yao ya kuna iko kwa kidapo 430 praise the name of the lord that is how long it took between Isaac between uh, 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 Jacob son eh the making of the nation who find a what wale ambao Mungu alisema atakuwa taifa it took him over 400 years i believe it should be around 500 years because Mungu akamwambia i will make you Uh, uh, I will make you a great nation see you that Abraham was 75 akakaa miaka yake akafikisha miaka 100 mpaka 175 five akafa kwa hivyo ni kusema between mahali promise ilikuja alikuwa na miaka 100 alishi miaka 100 akafa okay between hapo na kupata mtoto ni miaka 25 alishi miaka kama 90 hivi akifua tayari hadi 75 plus 25 hiyo ni miaka mingapi Oh, 100 years. Akifuata ahadi ya Mungu. Haya 
amefika mahali wa hawa watoto Isaka amezaliwa kutoka Isaka kwenda mpaka eh, ya Kobo kuna miaka sita hapa katikati between mahali Isaka alizaliwa na mahali alifika kwa hivyo ongeza 60 plus 25 hiyo ni miaka 85 between i i e jeko na kwenda misri kuna miaka mingapi jeko alienda misri akiwa miaka mingapi alifika misri akiwa miaka mingapi eh wa wa na anasema ni miaka ya shida sasa ongeza miaka ile eh, eh, 85 uongeze miaka ya 30 ni miaka mingapi ya bibi sasa weka miaka ya kukaa ni ile na 30 tunaongea baada ya miaka mingapi 600 That's it. That is the time it took for God to make a generation as he said to become a nation. Praise the name of the Lord. But when he speaks, he talks like he's going to do it tomorrow. And people must begin to understand. God's language is different from our language. Jesus is to now get to know what I'm getting. Mungu anaweza sema kitu mpaka unasikia haleluya. Hiyo kitu mwaka huu ndio mwaka ube anasema baada ya miaka mingapi nitastaki kukuja moyo na sitaki kuharibu imani yako lakini nataka uweke kwa ya kwamba Mungu hatembei na yeye asiyeweza kuamini kwa sababu lugha yake si lugha ya kawaida Bwana asante sana Amen kama sasa tuko katika wakati wa kudanganywa na wanasiasa hapa kwetu so tutadanganywa sana sisi tukichanganywa haya ni ni mtachagua tunajua ni ni kwa nafuru kwa nafuru ni mtachagua tutapata gani tuna chini kwenda juu na kuna ya juu kurudi chini so tutachagua tu sisi tutachagua kuna wale wakupewa elfu sita kila mwezi mtachagua kama mnataka elfu sita na kwanza mtujiulize sitatoka wapi hapana ndanganya tu kwa hiyo uongo tu ni wakati wa uongo ni wanasiasa wanajua Situlikuwa kwa siku ya kwa watu watakula na laptop. Na tablet ya. Wali ni habari zenu. Watu wa shule zenu wako na matablet. Tulikuwa hapa tu. Then ni asa tu. Na tuko hapa tu. Tutatakani watu. Wanadamu ni watu. Luga yao ni hiyo ya uongo. Luga ambao anakuambia kitu mpaka unaona hiyo hiyo. wakionyesha ile vitu vile zitafanyika universal health care eh hey, utatibiwa for free sijui nini hizo vitu zote tunaambiwa ni kweli tunaambiwa wapendwa Mungu haongee hiyo hataki tukae kama wanadamu tushike lugha kama ya wanadamu tabia kama za wanadamu God would like us to understand the things in a different way praise the name of the Lord and therefore our walk with the God can only be and I want to say this and I want to repeat again can only not by sight. If you are following God, you must follow him by faith. Ni kuamini uniamini. Hii kitu amesema ni kuamini ninaamini. Nikiulizwa na mtu itafanyika namna gani? Sijui, lakini kuamini nimeamini. Be a believer. Believe God. Have faith in God. Praise the name of the Lord. Walk after God by faith aliyekwambia nitakufanya nitakujenga nitakuinua anajua bibi anasema ana uhakika na bibi anasema lakini kitu moja unaweza kuwa na uhakika naye unaweza kuwa na garantia Thor amesema nitakuinua Thor amesema nitakujenga hata nijenga pia ninafikiria hata nijenga kulingana na maoni yangu hata nijenga kulingana na hali vile inataka atanijenga kama vile anataka Bwana Yesu asifiwe The life of faith is a life of surrender. Releasing yourself to the unknown. Releasing yourself to the unknown. Allowing yourself to go with the unknown. I know. Ukiulizwa na mtu hiki kitu itafanyika I don't know. Ukisema kitu itakuwa I don't know. Aliyesema atalibariki I don't know. Aliyesema ya kwamba nitakuwa mtu mkubwa mimi sijui hili mambo. Lakini moja ninajua ni kwa Mungu ni mwaminifu kwa ahadi zake. Hata kama alichukua miaka 600 na anadhani kufanya taifa, lakini mwisho wake alifanya nini? Taifa. Aliambia Yakobo niko na wewe, nitakwenda na wewe na nikarudi na wewe. Aliyemwambia yale maneno, haku 
mwambie ya kwamba nakula utaenda utafanya kazi miaka saba unadhani unyanganywa mali hiyo umefanyia kazi ya utaenda miaka hiyo saba ambao utaenda utafanya kazi kule kazi for nothing kwa sababu kile utapata si kile ulikuwa unataka god never spoke this lakini nataka uone ni rahisi sana kuuliza hata Mungu maswali Mungu nikifanya hii kazi yote nikifanya hii kazi mbona hauingilia kwa ugonge yeye kwa sababu ya kunina gani si nataka kama Mungu hakuwa mwaminifu kwa ahadi yake lakini ukweli ni kwamba angalia baadaye akafanya miaka mingi sana mimi ndakis for fortune the only thing he got is a wife na ya kuongezewa lakini songa bado miaka sita inayofuata Jacob was richer than his uncle the guy who came carrying money was richer than his uncle why god is faithful and is able to keep his word praise the lord so pray for us to go with the confidence hallelujah fuata mungu na ujasiri haufuati mungu ambaye ni muongo haufuati mungu anaweza badilikia na hapa mbele haufuati mungu ambaye je endelee ifungane yakose namna yeye amejithibitisha katika vizazi ya kwamba hapo tufike kwenye bahari naweza kupanua bahari niondoe maji kule alichota maji akaweka ndio hatujui bwana asifiwe kwa sababu ni maulize kutengeneza barabara kwa bahari eh nilikuwa nasoma ile ya probable route it is a it has a depth of about 1.2 km eh? 1.2 km so na hadi bitas wapendwa hiyo maji sio gram 2 sio maji ya kutoka tu kumwona na hapa ama uweke katika fika na kuvuta ileda hiyo haina pambo ya kutoa lakini Mungu aliweka mahali kuli aliweka sijui kama alichota na bageti yake kwake akainua kwanza kashikilia hewani Bwana siku. Si Biblia kuna mahali inasema katika hiki kwamba yeye anaweza kutoka maji ya bahari na mkono wake. Sasa fikiria hiyo. Yeye ana uwezo, mwenye na yeye, alafu atoke maji ya bahari haya pita, alafu arudi semani. Na kitu alifanya. Sasa uende na huu jasiri ya kwamba nimemfuata ambaye hawezi shindwa na hiki ambacho ninamwambia. Maisha haya ambao ninafuata hayatamshinda. Tabia uondoke katika bahari pa kuangalia ni watu and you want to follow God you must teach yourself to be hallelujah uwe mtu ambaye anatembea kwa imani anafanya mambo kwa imani anaongea kwa imani mengine kama kuna kitu kikubwa nimekufundisha siku ya leo ni habari ya kufika eneo ambapo utachagua kuwa mtu wa imani nimekufuata Mungu siku una mitume walifika mahali wakabia hizo nyuzi sasa hii mambo unaongea mungu sisi tumeacha kila kitu tukakufua tutapata nini kwa sababu walifika mahali wakaona kama ni hasara wanafuata huyu mtu tunamfuata na ameanza kuongea tutakula nyama zake tutakunywa damu yake sasa mtu akikupea nyama na damu yake amepakisha nini bwana sifiwe lakini huyu ambaye alisema hivi aliwahifadhi mpaka mwisho alikuwa na wao alitembea na wao aliwafundisha njia aliwaonyesha mambo waliyopaswa kufanya aliwafundisha kule alikuwa amesema kuwafundisha simama kwa bibi yako katika jina la Kristo na nataka kuambia Mungu ya kwamba si unifundishe maisha ya kuamini maisha ya kwamba umeniita niweze kukufuata nikufuate kwa imani nisikufuate kwa sababu niliona nisikufuate kwa sababu nilisikia nisikufuate kwa sababu watu wanasema nisikufuate kwa sababu watu wanaongea lakini nikufuate kwa imani katika jina la Kristo lift up your voice and pray for yourself god is a god who desires men to follow him by faith he wants to walk with you he wants to take you to the right destination anataka kufikisha mahali unastahili kufika lakini anataka mtembee kwa imani bwana nifundishe imani lugha ya kukuamini ndio lugha ambayo natamani katika maisha lugha ya kukuamini ndio lugha ninatamani katika wakomu wangu sheka bagande masela mazoni mazanda i know that god if i believe you oh god almighty 
if I walk by faith, I will come to my destination. Every man who believed you came to his destination. If I follow you by faith, I will come to the place ordained for me. If I follow you by faith, I will come to the place ordained for me. If I follow you by faith, I will get what you have prepared for me. Oh, shatakate bagate.
but I daily see unfamiliar things, new things ordained for me by the living God. This is my desire and this is my prayer from this hour in Jesus' name. Amen. And Father, I pray that our hearts will desire this life of faith. Our souls will hunger for the things of faith in the name of Jesus Christ.